Okay, so I am doing supernatural themed nails in, um, I guess, celebration of the announcement of season 13 of Supernatural. I'm doing this in my kitchen right now because it's 7 o'clock at night and the lighting in my room is horrible. Um, so... I started by applying false nails. You don't have to do this. You can do this on your natural nails. But I myself wanted a bigger canvas, I guess, to paint on. So I applied some fake nails and I trimmed them. So they're they're pretty short, but they're a lot longer than my natural nails are. So after you <clears throat> apply a base coat, you want to start by applying white, two coats of white to your thumb your pointer finger and your pinky and then applying two coats of black to your middle finger and your ring finger. Then you will start on your thumb and on the thumb I'm going to paint the anti-possession symbol that Sam and Dean have tattooed on them. And you just want to use this is like my little sample paper, <laughs> and you just want to use black nail polish. I okay, so I have the little star drawn for me right here on the paper because I couldn't figure out how to do it. I've already have it, the symbol drawn on this thumb, but I need to make sure that they're, you know, a similar size. So I'm going to do the circle first. That is my dog whining in the background. He wants back into my parents' bedroom, but I don't want to let him back there because they'll just tell me to get him out because he's annoying. Honestly, Jesse. Okay, so I think that's a similar circle size. It's kind of off, but who cares? Okay, so now I'm going to draw the star inside. Um, the tools that I'm using are by this company. I don't really know how to pronounce it. I think it's Luis Maley's. I'm not 100% sure. But, you know. I'm like really shaky right now. Ooh, that line was not good. I can't guarantee that this is going to be the best manicure ever because, I don't know, I'm just really shaky. I don't know why. Come on. My nail polish is drying on the paper faster than I can use it. Come on. Okay, now that I did the star in the middle, I'm going to do like the little like rays on the outside of it. I can't get my hand to hold the thing correctly. I'm just gonna do like little squiggly lines, just really tiny squiggly lines, like all the way around. And I'm gonna kind of like, I'm gonna make them uneven because they're not even in the picture that I'm looking at which has disappeared. Ah! My computer made a noise. Ooh, oh my, Jesse, honestly, dude, I can't let you over there. Ignore my annoying dog. I don't even care anymore. As you can see, I just messed up. I made a little dot where it's not supposed to be, but who cares? Um alright but yeah I am actually only on season 9 I mean like I'm 
I'm on season 9, episode 22. I, I'm watching it right now. Well, not right now, but as I'm, like, letting my nails dry, I'm watching it. Um, but, ooh. oops. But, so far, I love the show. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Um, a lot of, like, the angst between Sam and Dean hurts me emotionally. And I'm still not over the time that Dean threw away the necklace Sam gave him. That still, um, has scarred me. I can't handle it. Um, I hate John Winchester. He's, like, literally the worst father ever. But, um, you know. So there's my anti-possession symbol. I think they're about the similar size. I think this one ended up being bigger, but that's okay. So now what I'm going to do is on the first finger, I'm going to do this. I'm going to like drip blood down it. I'm just gonna use a dotting tool. I'm gonna use a fairly large, um, if you can like compare the size to my fingernail, it's a fairly large dotting tool. Um, because I want to be able to, like, pull it at the cuticle, kind of. Mm, I don't have enough <laughs> on the paper. Okay. So, I'm just going to start by making one dot at the beginning of the cuticle, right there. I'm going to slowly, like, kind of, like, dab it out the rest of my cuticle. Not my cuticle, but like, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Just get it in there. I'm trying to get it as close as possible, but you know, I don't get it too close because then it does the weird little, little dotty things on the side and I don't want that. So I'm trying to make these similar. Okay, so at this point we're going to start dragging down the color into the white, kind of like that. You want this to be uneven, you don't want it to be like perfect and similar because this is supposed to be like blood like dripping down, you know. It's gotta look like creepy and erratic and weird. And then we're just going to make like a couple of dots down like where it continues to drip. There's like weird like red streaks from but yeah, that's basically it for that nail. This one actually turned out better than this one. Okay. Okay, now for the two black nails, you're going to do Castiel's wings. Just like I did here. They're his, they're his little angel wings. Um, and you're going to need the black again. And so I learned that the trick, I'm going to use that same brush that I was using to do this nail. I'm going to start at like the inner edge and work my way out. And I'm going to try and like estimate where on the nail I started over here. And I'm going to make a line out. And then curve it down, but not too, like, intensely. Just kind of like, you know, a little bit. And then I'm going to get more white on there, and I'm just going to, like, make feathers. Make little itty-bitty feathers and just kind of, like, put it on the nail and then drag it just a little bit. Just slightly, because I want this to look kind of, like, faded and, you know, like, you know. I'm just saying words to make myself seem professional. I'm just kind of like making it look a little bit messy and that's okay because we can clean it up but the, but the part that you want to be most white is the part right there because that when you put your nails together for like pictures it like kind of connects them. I'm just gonna continue to make little feathers. 
look for reference. A little bit more white in here. A little bit more. Define that wing line. Oof. Oops, I messed up. Oopsie daisy. That's okay, I can fix that in a minute. So then I'm going to take that same brush, I'm not going to clean it because I'm lazy, and I'm going to go into the black which has completely dried, so I'm going to have to get more. I'm just going to go straight out of the bottle because I have no work ethic. And I'm going to start, I need to like do that, by like making little lines. And you want to do this while your white nail polish is still wet. I don't mean tacky, I mean wet because you want the colors to mix together in a sense. You want it to kind of get like gray tones and such and so on. And just kind of like dab it to get it to like mix together. And voila you have one wing and then for the other one you want to do the same process but opposite My last nail, my pinky, is going to be the Mark of Cain, and it helps if you draw the Mark of Cain on a piece of paper and then flip it like upside down so you can look at it, which is what I've done, and then you just draw it onto your fingernail. So I'm going to take the red that I used for the blood, and I'm going to create like a very straightish kind of seven shape but um it's like you know what I mean by straight like it's not like it doesn't have that weird curvy thingy to it and I'm gonna kind of like dab the brush so it creates like a really like bloodied messy kind of look and then I'm going to do a dot and then I'm going to like whip it out you know like whip it like that and then I'm going to do that except a lot smaller below it it's not working oh. and then I'm gonna kind of drag this lower a little bit lower add a little bit more dimension to it and then voila you have a complete uh, supernatural manicure